I believe in myself and my ability to do my best. I will think, I will listen, I will participate, I will insist, I will act respectfully, I will show kindness, I will make AJ be the place to be. For this day, will not come again. Drop the mic, A. Here is your Black History Month daily spotlight. Spotlight on Alice Coachman. Growing up in Albany, Georgia, the soon-to-be track star got an early start running on dirt roads and jumping over makeshift hurdles. She became the first African-American woman to win an Olympic gold medal at the 1948 Summer Olympics in London. She would have been able to attend Olympics in 1940 and 1944, but those Olympics were canceled, both due to World War II. She set the record for the high jump at the 1948 Olympics, leaping to five feet, six and one eighth inches. Throughout her athletic career, she won 34 national titles, 10 of which were in the high jump. She was officially inducted into the National Track and Field Hall of Fame in 1975 and the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame in 2004. Question. In what year did Alice Coachman win an Olympic gold medal? Write your answer on a slip of paper with your name and your grade and turn it in during lunch. I decided to write solo because I love music. I've been a music fan since I mean, since I was a kid. I mean, I listen to a lot of gospel. Um, when I write books, I listen to jazz. When I'm on my way to a book signing or a school visit, it's always hip hop. When I was in high school, it was all about rock. It was all about that energy and that fervor and that verve. And I wanted to write a story where I could talk about that kind of music, where I could talk about, you know, I could have the energy of that kind of music sort of rise off the page. I mean, so music was the frame but I'm also, I'm in love with love. So I wanted to write about love. I wanted to write a love story about, you know, this idea of if you want to receive it, you got to give it. And if you want to give it, you got to have it. So how do you have love? You know, it's sort of an oxymoron. How do you have love and you're looking for it at the same time? And that's really what a lot of young people deal with. I know it's what I dealt with. And I wanted to write that story about this young man who's trying to find love and, and the music sort of helps him find it. The AJB Tech Art Club will meet Wednesday and Thursday this week. Meetings go until 5 p.m. in Ms. Hallmark's room, 403, Wednesday and Thursday this week. Do you like to run, jump, or throw things? Then the AJB track team is for you. 7th and 8th grade boys and girls teams are practicing after school. If you're not in athletics and you want to be a part of the team, please speak with any of the coaches to get more information. This is just a friendly reminder from your counselors. All course selection sheets are due no later than Friday, February 26th. That's tomorrow. Remember, if you do not turn in a course selection sheet, your classes will be chosen for you. Don't forget. To me, Seguin Cheer is more than just a program. Over the last four years, these friends have become family, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. That feeling of hearing your name and the weight of the medal around your neck is just really reassuring to all the hard work we've put in. Going 
again, you have the stereotype of a typical cheerleader, but these ladies break that. It's good to build the bonds and push each other every day to be better. Not only do we work continuously, but we share laughs and make memories. The fun I've had on this program is indescribable and couldn't be recreated, and for that I'm very grateful. The most rewarding part for me is to know that there are little girls out there watching me waiting for their chance to be a Seguin cheerleader.